everyone, welcome to Princess Lessons. We are staying at Animal Kingdom Lodge. We're about ready to check in. It is incredible here. It's about 7.30 at night, so it is already dark, so we won't be able to see the animals today, but we will see those tomorrow. We took the elevator to the fourth floor, which is right above the lobby. That's where we're going to be. It's this beautiful view. There are drummers. This is so cool. Here is the door. Mickey to Mickey. Here we are. Here are the beds. They look very cozy. I should stop and show you the lamp. I know a lot of people don't like these hardwood floors, but I really like them. I feel like it's a lot cleaner. I am so excited that we have this partial savanna view. I can't wait to show this to you guys tomorrow morning. First thing, stay tuned. Coming back in from the outside, I'm still amazed at the view that we're going to have tomorrow morning. Get a view of the beds right here. Oh, and look at this, isn't that gorgeous? I think that's, is that Rafiki? I think that's supposed to be Rafiki, that's very cute. Oh, it's Pumbaa. Table and chairs right here. Let's check out the drawers here. Oh, there's another little nook here. It has a safe and lots of shelf space, so that's really nice. And, not just any coffee maker, but they have a Keurig. They have the Joffrey's coffees. I just love Joffrey's coffee. It's nice that they have mugs. Then you also have the paper to go on if you are headed out in a hurry to the parks. Some really pretty basket decorations. A place where you can put your luggage. There's a recycling and trash, which is kind of nice that it's masked with this really cool basket. A nice mirror. Hello everyone. So right from the mirror is the bathroom and everything is Lion King themed. Hakuna Matata. Very cute. Towels. And it looks like it has maybe a light that you can turn on. Let's try. Yes. And here is the main mirror. Lots of little extra things like a shower cap, mouthwash. And here are the sinks. The shower is to die for. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that shower head. Two shower heads, which they have in some of the other resorts, I know, but just, this just looks cool. It looks so much cooler than the ones with like the shower curtain. You know, just the little details. I love the shower. It looks really amazing. It's definitely a step up from the moderate resorts. And just the fact that we're very close to the lobby. So I can't wait to be able to just walk out there anytime we want to and just relax and enjoy. There's a fire pit that I will definitely be showing you soon. I can't believe that it's basically right outside my door and down the stairs. So that's gonna be perfect for any time, you know, you just wanna relax in the evening um, after the parks or you just wanna wait for someone who's still getting ready. And uh, right now I am starving. So I think we're gonna go to the Mara to get some food. That's the quick service place. So this is how close we are to the lobby. I literally just walked out the door. We're coming around the corner and there it is. This is going to be so amazing. And there's that little fire pit that I love. It's right there. So this is the quick service area, the Mara. We'll be coming here several times, I'm sure. I love the little leaves on the trees and the ceiling, the way it's decorated, but they have so much good food. It's just great to know that I popped down from my hotel room to get this beautiful pizza with tomatoes and red peppers. And of course, my absolute favorite, the gluten-free zebra domes. The most magical dessert in Disney World. Here's a little bit of the shop. Looks like they have a lot of Lion King merchandise. Oh, it's Nala. I always liked her, she's my favorite. From the Lion King, of course. It's really cool. Oh, that's really pretty. Did you make the animals there? Oh wow, that's really cool. Good morning, there's some animals. I just saw a giraffe and couldn't get my camera in time. But 
it's really an amazing view from this balcony. You can see some of the other rooms over there to the left. And then over here, let me just show you the balcony while we're out here. There's a table, chair, and there's another chair behind me. I've been waiting for the giraffe to come back. You can barely see it, but he's here. Look at him. There he is. Oh, there's another giraffe. There's a zebra. Hi, zebra. I love it. Right from our balcony. I'm going to zoom out so you guys can see how cool this is. Here's our balcony. And we're seeing these animals. They look a lot closer up than they look from the camera. Just because of the way the lens is. But we can see them really well. The Animal Kingdom Lodge Wildlife Spotting Guide. The zebra. We've already seen the zebra. It has little check marks where you can check off which animals you've seen. We thought it'd be fun to do a little bit of exploring in the lobby before we go do something else. We might go to a park later, but it is so cold, you guys. It's 55 degrees outside, which for Orlando is insane. It might as well be 20 degrees. So we're really excited that we're staying here not having to go in and out very much if we don't want to i guess it's just kind of forcing us to enjoy the resort and i think that's kind of a nice thing we like to stay at the uh, pop century or the moderate resorts if we're going to be at the parks a lot but it is really cool being here when we can just take full advantage of it let's go downstairs and look around a little bit more our room is over here to the left kind of down there Very cozy. You can see a little bit of the art. It's much brighter and lighter here during the daytime. I love this little bridge. Bubbling water. It kind of reminds me a little bit of Wilderness Lodge. And here's the fire pit. Oh my gosh, my favorite place. Put your feet up. I'm 100% living the fire pit life right now. Look at this beautiful piece of art. You can see animals. Here shows some of the making of it. It's lots of little nooks where you can just relax here. Just downstairs from the lobby is Boma. They're not open right now. They're between lunch and dinner. So they open again at five o'clock. But this is kind of cool because it gives you an idea of what it looks like in here. They have buffets. And I love the view going back up this way from Boma. Look at this. See how this winds around upstairs? And that's the lobby up there. It's beautiful. camera right now but I have my phone so I just wanted to show you how amazing this bridge is. I'll turn it around. Look how cute he is. Look. I don't know what the names of these animals are, but they're so cute. Should have brought my trusty guide from the room. I have so many wonderful memories of exploring the lodge, seeing the animals, and talking with cast members on past trips. I thought I'd show you a few quick highlights. It's an African version of what you have. <laughs> These are all the, some of the instruments we 
Jeff begin Africa. Just like wanna try this one. Wanna try this one? Okay, sure. Okay. There's no formula. You play it anyhow. Anyhow. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I'm not very musical. <laughs> that you can go back and see those animals. Look at this, there's the falafel, cucumber salad, hummus, and it comes with non bread normally if you are not gluten free, but we did falafel chips and I can't wait to dip that in the hummus. This is the first really warm and sunny day that we've had. Here's the pool, it's right outside the Mara. It's really a beautiful, Big pool. I didn't think they had a water slide, but there it is. One thing I really like too is right outside the pool area, you've got all of these benches. So it's a little bit farther away from like the craziness and chaos of the pool and you can take a nice nap here. another meal and this time I got what used to be called African stew but it's called pochi now and it's absolutely delicious it comes with falafel chips I love these chips I need to find these at a grocery store because they are so amazing lots of vegetables chicken they're the falafel chips it's such a great meal but they have so much variety so you really don't have to just eat the same chicken tenders hamburgers that kind of thing over and over again they have unique items like the pochi like the falafel that I showed you the other evening and then they have pizza that's amazing. So there's just a lot of variety and a lot of unique dishes and the zebra domes. Of course, who could forget the zebra domes? Here are the delicious zebra domes. Zebra domes? The zebra domes are a must for the zebra domes. And I absolutely can't leave without getting zebra domes. The most amazing dessert because these are amazing. You won't regret it. big 
awning at check-in where you can pull up your car if you drove and you come in here the bus stop is really convenient it's right when you come out of the lobby when it's turn left and you go straight down this walkway Once you reach the end of the walkway, here's Animal Kingdom Blizzard Beach, down there is Hollywood Studios, and so on and so on. Magic Kingdom is the farthest park from Animal Kingdom Lodge. It's on the south end, and Magic Kingdom is north, if I remember correctly. So it is pretty far away, maybe 15 minutes or so, but it's not too bad. You just have to be aware that it'll be a little bit longer than, of course, if you would stay at Wilderness Lodge near Magic Kingdom or one of the other deluxe resorts in that area. Of course, the monorail is the way to go if you want to be really close to Magic Kingdom. You can stay at Polynesian Contemporary or uh, Grand Floridian, but uh, this too, for the price point for the deluxe, I feel like it's a lot more affordable than the monorail resorts, probably because it is farther away, but seeing the animals and everything, that just makes it, I don't know, it feels like such a luxurious deluxe resort with so much culture, so many things you can experience. It's our last day and we see another cute animal outside our balcony. <laughs> He's eating his breakfast. Well, I have bad news, guys. It's checkout day. I always hate this day. Anytime that we're at Disney World. I think we're going to get some African pochi, which is the stew that I showed you for the road. It's really good cold. I have had just such a magical time. I love just walking into the lobby, seeing how beautiful it is. Because sometimes you stay at a resort and the lobby is beautiful, but you cut around to go back to your room and you don't really see it that much during your trip. It was kind of like, oh, we should stop by the fire pit for a few seconds before we go up to our room. I didn't film it last night, but we came back really late from Magic Kingdom and they had late night uh, flatbread pizzas still going until 1.30 a.m. So we got some pizza. I wish I could pull you guys through the screen right now so you could see this beauty for yourselves and experience it. But I hope you got a little taste of it and I hope you'll get to visit here soon. And until next time, I will see you real soon. Bye.